what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make me, I was talking about, kind of joking about having a wheelie bar on this, and then it occurred to me, well, you know, the bottom of this scrapes when you uh, lift it up too much, the, the pipes will scrape, and I was thinking, well, wouldn't it be nice to have a couple little wheels back there? And I've got a boat set up here that has wheels mounted to it. Well, it wouldn't take much to mount a couple of them up under here where they touch the ground. Uh, you know, if you're lifting it up and rolling it, you won't be lifting it up on those pipes that you're gonna dig right into the dirt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop off a, uh, one of these rollers, the two, and kind of look at them and see how they put on there. Holy God. If this were right here, it would roll on the ground before those pipes got on the ground. It wouldn't take much to uh, sort of spot weld that in place. Sure wouldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Pipes off because I could mount them a little higher on the on the trailer. And where it is right now, it catches that roller well before it comes in danger of running those fenders in. So what I can do is instead of having those pipes, I had them actually below the frame before. I could set them up so that they come in up here. Instead of being under the frame, I can put them out here like this. In fact, I could, if I wanted to, short, shorten them a little. <clears throat> but even if they were right there, see I've still got a goodly bit of clearance between there and the ground if I'm on level ground. So. Oh, not really committed to the uh, pipes, but on the other end, some people think they look cool, so I'm, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle on that, but I guess they do look cool. So we'll, uh, we'll ponder that a while, and in the meantime, I might go ahead and weld this uh, roller right there well i do have to say i love me some arc welder and uh operating an arc welder just like operating a hot glue gun except a lot more dangerous and scary <laughs> love that Ouch, that's still hot hey that's still hot don't touch that okay okay Maybe if I put my glove, maybe if I put my gloves on, I can touch it. So I just hot glued that piece down there on that. And now we have a roller. When I pick this trailer up, I can roll it without scraping my fenders. Now, what I'm doing now, now is take these exhaust pipes. I'm going to cut them down so that they'll work under here. I don't want to go under there. I want them to go up in here. So I'm going to want to cut off. Oh, let me get something. I can take a tape, tape measure. Let me get a tape measure so I can cut off a precise exact amount. Well, you know how I am. I don't do nothing haphazardly. No. It's got to be all to the very most rigid specifications. If it's gonna, if it's gonna be on my unit, that's the truth, that's the whole truth, that's the 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 truth, that
I'm gonna cut that a little lip to go up over that right there. And then that will help me to put that into place. So I'm gonna take three inches minus a little lip. And we'll have to do some extra fancy. Uh, yeah, spinning wheel. I'm gonna use my spinning wheel, my little cutter, my little cutter wheel. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Grinder, I'm gonna use the grinder. We're gonna grind things up. Oh, we enjoy. So, first of all, we're gonna measure up three inches off of here. So that's three inches. Actually, right about where that screw was. I'll just use that. So I'll cut three inches off right there, except I'll leave a little bit on the bottom on both sides. That looks about right. Go check that and see what you think. The way I have that figured is that it'll come in. Like this. See, I'll have that much hanging out the back, and then I can, I can spot weld this and flatten it down if I want to on the inside. Let's cut another one. Let's cut this other one the same way. Okay. Hardly stay bent over that way, but you know what? I think it'd be quicker and easier just to spot weld it in the place and try to try to grip it with the vice grips. I'm have to use a smaller welder for that. Cheap. That's why we have a wire welder. Uh, it's for that kind of thing right there. Okay, let's see if our coat sign is dry yet. I could, uh, let me bring y'all a little closer to this next bit. So I'm saying no, it's not dry yet, and I'm not going to touch it. I might take it out and set it in the sunshine and let it dry. 